Hello, this is Tahmina Khan. Today I will teach you how to do long division on polynomials and how to solve a cubic equation. Uh, on the top you can see there is a blog address tkmathsisfun.blogspot.com. I have put all my videos together on one blog. I was told to do so. It was not easy for students to find out uh, particular videos. So I have put them all together here and I will keep making new videos and keep uploading the link over here. Secondly, there is a Gmail address tkmathsfun. If you have any particular query rel uh, related to O level, A level mathematics, so you can ask me over here. So let's start how to apply long division on polynomial. So suppose this is a cubic equation which I want to divide by a quadratic equation. So now in long division divisor comes here we know it we have done this in number system so the technique of applying long division is you try to cancel out this term so now x square multiply by what will give me 3x cube so it is understood that x square multiply by 3x will give you 3x cube so we always try to cancel out the first term. So exactly this we have written here. How it will cancel out? I will tell you in a while. Now second term minus 2x will multiply by this. It will become minus 6x square. We are writing like terms under same term like x square. So x square is coming here. Now minus 3 multiplied by 3x will be minus 9x. So it will be written under the term which has x power 1. So now we will subtract this minus this just like we do in the uh, number system. So if we minus it I can show here horizontally what actually happens if you subtract this minus this this is how you do it. So all the signs plus sign minus sign and minus sign will change into minus multiply by plus is minus minus multiply by minus is plus so if you see the sign have changed it was plus 3 now it is minus 3 it was minus 6 now it is plus 6 so all the signs have changed so now I am writing again here just to show you okay, after changing all the sign here now this is plus 3x cube this is minus 3x cube it will cancel out and minus 8 plus 6 is minus 2. So now forget this for the time being. I will show you why this has come over here. Right now I am just telling you after subtraction what we will get. So now I will get minus 2x square. This is minus 5x plus 9x is plus 4x. And this 6 I will bring down here. So now I will try to cancel out this term minus 2x square. So I will see that x square will multiply by what? Now forget this. It is over because we have multiplied it in the previous case here. Now x square multiplied by minus 2 will give me minus 2x square. And with the other two terms I will multiply minus 2. So minus 2x multiplied by minus 2 will give me plus 4x. And minus 3 multiplied by minus 2 will give me plus 6. So now the signs will change. I have just explained you that how the sign changes. So it will cancel out and you will get 0. So this will cancel out. Plus 4x minus 4x cancel out. And this will. So you have 0 in the denominator. So this is how we have solved um, polynomial by long division and now we will solve a cubic, cubic equation where we will apply long division once again. Now let's see this is a cubic equation which we have to solve it. Now when we are solving a cubic equation the first thing we have to think about how many times of how many types of answers or roots we will get. Let's see it graphically to understand it. 
Now there are three possibilities when we are solving a cubic equation. So case number one, in this case, the curve is intercepting the x-axis at three point. So it means if uh, we solve equation, cubic equation, and we get three answers, it means the curve is intercepting at three points. Now if we solve cubic equation and we get two answers, basically three answer, this one will be different and these two will be same because it is tangent to the curve and we have this knowledge from quadratic equation solving that when equation is when curve is tangent to the line we get two same equations or two same answers in third case we will get only one root one answer so we will see this into detail later so let's start solving what will be the root of this equation okay in general when we are writing cubic equation factors, we write one linear factor and one quadratic factors. Now linear factor we find out by trial and error method. And quadratic equation we find out by three methods. They are called long division, comparing the coefficient method and synthetic division. So I will teach you all three methods here. Once I will find out the linear factor, then I will apply all three methods one by one to solve uh, to get this quadratic factor now for linear factor by trial and error method we substitute values in this cubic equation until we get zero remainder so let's try these values and let's see when do we get now here i would like to tell you okay now in the calculator you can solve cubic equation and get the roots so one root you can just show here as a working for example i am taking one and substituting in this cubic equation and my answer is not coming zero it means one is not a root now i'm trying minus one in the same cubic function and now when i substituted minus one i got remainder zero so now it means minus 1 is the root of the cubic equation. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1 is a root and x plus 1 is a factor. So now instead of this general form here, we can write x plus 1 as linear factor. And now we have to find out this quadratic factor. Okay. So I told you there are three ways to find out this quadratic factor. So I'm doing one by one all three methods. So let's do method number one, which is comparing the coefficient method. Now in comparing the coefficient method, we expand this bracket. And after getting expansion, we compare the coefficient of the like terms. Because when we are writing this cubic equation has these three vectors, this is an identity. Okay. So now let's compare the coefficient of x cube, which is one here. And it is a here. So comparing the coefficient of x cube such that 1 equals to a. So we have found the value of a. Now we have to find the value of b and c also. So now I will compare the coefficient of x square. Here the coefficient of x square is minus 7. And here it is plus b and plus a. I have already found the value of a by comparing the coefficient of x cube. I will plug in here and I get my value of b here. Now to find the value of c, you have two options. If you compare the coefficient of x, it will be 4 equals to c plus b because they both are coefficient of x. Or if you compare constant, you can straight away get 12 equals to c. So answer should come same in both ways. So if I am comparing the coefficient of x here, 4 is equals to c plus b and b is minus 8. So I am getting c equals to 12. So I have found the value of abc. It means I can plug in the value of abc here and I will get my quadratic equation. Okay, so after plugging in the value of abc in the quadratic factors, now you have this equation. Now if you are able to solve this equation, it means it is passing through or maybe touching the x-axis. So rather than doing that straight away, 
you can first check on b square minus 4ac which is called discriminant and if it gives you positive value it means you have two roots so my a is 1 my b is minus 8 and my c is 12 so I'm plugging in the values and my answer is 16 which is plus hence this quadratic equation if I solve will give me two real and distinct root so now I'm factorizing it and I have gotten two root 2 and 6 sometimes when you are unable to um, factorize then you apply either completing a square method or quadratic formula to solve the equation therefore the three factors are these and roots are these so it means the curve is intercepting at three points on the x-axis because we are getting three different roots now let's solve the same um, quadratic factor by second method which is long division so now to get this factor quadratic factor I already have a linear factor of this cubic function so I will do long division here which I have already explained to you in the beginning of this video so let's see stepwise here I have to cancel this term so x multiplied by x square will give me x cube and now 1 multiplied by x square is x square so I'm writing under the like term because we subtract the two polynomials here so the sign will change I have explained you earlier how so now this will cancel out and I have now minus 7 and minus 1 which is equals to minus 8x square these two I will bring down as it is now my, uh, my aim is to cancel this term minus 8x square so I will see x multiplied by what will give me minus 8x square now forget this it is done okay so x multiplied by minus 8x will give you minus 8x square and now plus 1 will also multiply by this and you will get minus 8x you are writing under the like term again when you will subtract the sign will change this minus will turn into plus same here now this will cancel out so what is left now plus 4 plus 8 which is equals to 12x and you will bring down this 12 also now you have to cancel this term so you will see x multiplied by what will give you 12x so definitely x multiplied by 12 now forget this thing okay so x multiplied by 12 will give me 12x then second term of the divisor will also multiply by this I'm getting 12 so it is exactly same when sign will change I will subtract it will cancel out and I will have 0 here once your remainder is 0 it means this quotient is your here a factor right these both are the factor of this dividend so now we have done by long division exactly the same equation and I have shown you little before that how to solve this uh, quadratic equation we factorize it and before that we check the root by discriminant method b square minus 4ac now the same cubic uh, equation and its quadratic factor we will solve by the synthetic division which I personally like a lot because it makes the work very simple and it's I can say shortcut of the uh, long division because we only play with coefficients we forget variables so let's see what we are doing the linear factor which we have found is x plus 1 so root is minus 1 I have written here root and here I have written all the coefficient in the descending order of x now if you see x cube x square x and x naught constant is called x naught so the coefficient is 1 here minus 7 plus 4 plus 12 in case if I don't have this term suppose so what I will write in place of x 0 so you will write in the order remember this thing always write in the descending coefficient in the descending order of x so if there is a term missing write in place of that 0 okay so let's see what uh, what do we do after that the first number you copy down as it is and then you will multiply this by this 
and the answer you will write here okay so let's see when I multiply this by this I get minus 1 after that I will add the two negative number minus 7 and minus 1 my answer will be minus 8 now I will multiply minus 1 by minus 8 it will be 8 which will come here so it is here now plus 4 and plus 8 is plus 12 now minus 1 multiplied by 12 is equals to minus 12 when you add a positive and a negative number which are same you will get 0 so what do you get here is basically the coefficient of the quadratic factor and it is ABC so A is 1 B is minus 8 C is 12 so I got my quadratic equation x squared minus 8x plus 12 and we have just seen how to factorize it in the uh, first method which was comparing the coefficient method so let's take another example of solving a cubic equation so this is a cubic equation I have to solve it the first factor I'll find out by trial and error method so I like I told you K okay, in the calculator I checked and I'm just showing the working of one of the root here that it is giving me zero remainder so I have plugged in minus 2 in the cubic equation and I got 0 answer it means minus 2 is the root of this cubic equation so x equals to minus 2 is a root and x plus 2 is a factor so the quadratic factor I will find out by using only synthetic division now like I said I like using synthetic division okay so this is the cubic equation this is the linear factor we have just found and now we are trying to find out this quadratic factor so root is written here and all the coefficient of x cube x square x power 1 and constant is written here so once again I'll explain you the method in case if you need one more time explanation first number you copy down as it is multiply this by this which is minus 6 you write here like this you add or subtract depend depending on the sign here so plus 5 minus 6 is minus 1 now you will multiply minus 2 by minus 1 write the answer here again minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 now this will multiply by this it is plus 2 when you add up it will be 0 so this is your a b and c of the quadratic factor so now you have a quadratic factor here now I will apply b square minus 4ac the discriminant to, sh uh, to see what type of roots I will get for this quadratic so when I apply b square minus 4ac I am getting a positive answer 13 now this is not the answer this is a positive discriminant which is telling me that if I solve this quadratic equation I will get two real and distinct root so let's solve it so this is the quadratic uh, equation and since I cannot factorize it so I am applying quadratic formula so a3 b minus 1 c minus 1 so this is a quadratic formula you are well aware of so I am plugging in the values in this quadratic formula and I got two answers these are the two roots so altogether I have three roots one we found by linear um, trial and error method and other two by this method so at this I will end making the videos and I hope you understood how to solve a cubic equation and how to do long division on polynomials so in the next video I'll explain you how to um, or what is partial fraction basically because it is linked with this so I hope you will like to watch that video if you like it please subscribe it and press the like button thank you very much see you in the next video